got 60 odd block cleaned up to reuse and it's all out so it's ready for us to get the steel in what? it's not that bad is it it's getting it up it's going to be hard yeah. 30th of July just leaving Hodgson's now with a seven acros, six strong boys. And a wet ass. And a wet ass, yeah. It's um, a bit of a drop now, we're at 13 degrees. I'm in my shorts because we're working indoors. And it's pouring down, so luckily it's, we've got this indoor job to do for the next couple of days. It's double steel's job. And I picked up two pad stones but the one's 900 long and one's 750 long so we can cut them up because um, they're going to have 450 seating at one end to avoid having a vertical steel put in. Yeah, so it's pouring down. It's uh, 20 to 8. 20 to 8 so we're on our way over to Lydia now. We've got an 8 before sheet to put on the drive for the skip to go on so we're trying to get there before the skip wagon just in case they come early. So yeah that's it. But, um, Check back in week when we get there. There's our seven acros. Six strong boys at the front there. So I'm going to start getting these in. I think we passed the skip wagon on the way, so hopefully we'll be here soon. Right, there's our steels. They were delivered yesterday by JM, not the other company we used. We'll be using them again. There's all our gear. And that's where it's going. Three fifty nib off here. And then the steel sits in three fifty plus the hundred. So it'll be four fifty seating at this end. And then I can't remember the exact size opening. Yeah, there's some print, there's some marks there, so so it's coming out to there. So that's all coming out, stealing up to the joist level there. So it'll go in that course, that course there, and then we pull this down, and then we'll start on the other side. Then I don't think we'll be grinding that. I think we'll just drill it. I think grinding is just a bit too dusty. So. Um, We'll get these, get these strong boys in first and take it from there. There's my new present off Alex. New toy? Well, same toys we used to have, but a yeah. new mint one. Upgrade. Oh. What else did you get me? You got me the, the drill. And the extension lead. Oh yeah, the extension lead. So, this is the first time drills come out because I don't like getting new stuff dirty. His old one was knackered, so we needed a new one. The trigger wouldn't... Fresh the wire. Way. It's definitely its way out. The chuck was knackered as well. There's Alex's one. He used the, uh, the bar one. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm not keen on that one because the big switch when you pick it up, it tends to, it's hard to pick up with that. <laughs> Set it off. It's skittish. And that's slightly more powerful as well. They're just heavy and cumbersome, but they're just they're just a good a good all round. They're cheap. They last and they're strong. Yeah, exactly. We're talking 350 quid for a box version that size. Where what bits do we want? Just the chisel. Oh, yeah, any really. We don't need the uh, the holes, the the drill one, so we can drill the holes in. Yeah. Um, Just the longest one we got. The longest one. Here's the free stuff you get with it. It's a 12. They're all the same size, really. I think. Yeah. Well, we've got one in the van a bit longer. There might, there might be one inside the other box as well. There's only chisels. There should be two long bits in there as well. Oh, I'll have a look. Yeah. There he is anyway, ready to go. So it's going to drill down. Works nice, it works up to this block here. So we're just going to put three holes in each block so we can cut them off nice and neat. While he's doing that, I'm going to cut out for these strong boys, I'm going to put three in. 
you've just got room between the joists to get them in. So let's get cracking. People like it when you talk, so talk us through it. Um, I mumble too much. There's acros in the wall. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> so um, we've just chipped up the blocks and we've got the uh, strong boys and acros in, so now... Well, I guess it's not really much to say now, it's ready to be knocked down. Yeah, but we've um, we've measured the equal, we've put them in equal measurements, haven't we? Oh yeah, so we've measured them out and we've levelled and plumbed these this time as well. Yeah. Because um, we're not just holding back a wall now, we're holding back the the end of the house. The end of the house. So. Yeah, this is the end. This is the gable end. So there's um let me take it outside and show you. Or maybe not the doors there. But anyway, that's the corner of the house there. This is the garage here, so that's the house. Um yeah, I've noticed inside they've used the insulated blocks, the, the two inches of polystyrene stuck on the blocks. So we're hoping to save these blocks because we, we can't get all the blocks, so we're gonna see if we can clean these up. Uh, there's our pencil mark. So we can start, we can mark that up now and start drilling that and start taking it down. Skip hasn't turned up yet. I thought I was behind the skip wagon this morning, but we weren't. Anyway, we'll just start piling stuff here, not, not out there in the rain. And then same over there, showed you that before. This one's a lot more straightforward. We just need to tack three holes in each block because we're following that, that, that mortar line there, that perp. And that's going to be plumb because it's the first block off the off the reveal. Yes, we'll start getting that dropped. Mm -hmm. Get this side done. I'm not sure we're going to put the steel in or not first. It depends. Um, we, we we usually put the steel in behind the acros, but we're okay. We've got plenty of room to bring the steel in. Like that. Just loads of room. We just might have to take it round into the kitchen before we put them acros up. But as you can see, those acros are lovely and plumb and lined up. Yeah, so we've got them in every 9.50. Have you got any funny stories to tell anyone? Um, I've got plenty, but now you put it in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, we've got a nice story. We've got... Uh, uh, Daisy's three weeks old today, isn't it? Th Friday? I think so, yeah. yeah. Alex's new niece and my new granddaughter. She's doing well. Well, she had a bad night last night. The night before, she stayed over at our house, and she was a little angel. I'm thinking it's uh, it's not Daisy that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, it must be the parents. Yeah, blame the parents. we go we're nearly there we're, we actually well I was following a pencil mark on the wall which is not recommended we check so triple checked been inside measured the wall measured everything so I've even measured it put the measurement on the steel to work it out so that means I'm putting a 300 pad stone in there and it's a 200 seating on the steel 350 pad stone on that end 450 seating with the steel the reason it's got a, such a big seating is because that's just a brick pillar between a, a window and a door there so originally they wanted um, a vertical steel putting down and breaking into the floor and fitting in 
So that's what that's that nib for. Yes, yeah, so these blocks are coming out nice. The seven newton concrete, but they're, they're quite soft for these. You cut where you want them. So you're drilling each one three times, dropping them out, and then they're cleaning up as well. So the mortar's that soft, so we're going to be using. So I'm just going to get these last few holes I'm going to drill. Uh, with me new drill. Thank you, Alex. Try it again with the record button pressed. So Alex is going to drop the rest of these out. I'm going to hop up there and get that, take that bit out in that corner ready for the pad stone and the steel. And then we pretty much can get the steel in today. Get it in, get it propped up, get it bedded in, and then we start on the next wall scratch. Instead of taking a big hole out and then putting the steels in, we'll work our way in. We'll get this, these acros dropped tomorrow morning then. A lot of people say, why do you drop the acros the same day? Well, because I'm not usually here this, the next day, so these can be left in overnight. Nice solid job, especially with it being an external wall. So let's crack on, back to time lapse for a bit, and then we'll come back to in a minute. Well, in a few minutes. This end, this garage is 9 inch wall, this is going to be bricked up as well, insulated, but um, it's a 9 inch wall so our steel is actually going to sit against the outside, so we're going to have to put a bit of damp course up there, just as a, a vapour barrier, stop any water getting onto the end of the steel, and then this is the uh, 350 pad stone, 450 seating of the lintel, so lintel steel. So that's that can go in after dinner. Once we've got these three these two courses out of the way, drop these, clean them, get them away, and then we can slide the steel straight down there. Easy said than done. The second steel is going to have to go through out into the garden and into the kitchen, the other side of this wall. Drop it on the floor, and then we can get the uh, acros in then from the inside. That's um, that's like a cupboard under the stairs, so that goes that way about 1200, that way 1400, so that's all coming out. But we're going to wait till we've got some of these block out, we can just throw everything through into the garage then. Keep the dust down in the kitchen. And yep, yeah, that's ready, this is almost ready. So um, we're going to have a bit of early dinner because there's a drink come. So that's it, after dinner. Tidy up, steal in. Oh yeah, what we're going to do is um, what we usually do: get it up into position, about that far off the top, and just spread a bed all the way across the top of it. And then we have two acros left. We can put an acro up here, acro up here, and then we actually tighten the acros up to the steel, so the steel sits tight with the bed against those blocks, which means you're not trying to point above after and you compact in that bed really really tight as you go up so look we've got all these spare acros because that one that was a afterthought and that one there as you can see that ceiling joist that block it's attached to is not being held by anything everything else has got an acro under it so that has been held by that and in turn the bracket is holding the block up so that's been a big help in that corner so yeah, I'm going for dinner. See you in a bit.
Right, first time over. Got 60 odd block cleaned up to reuse and it's all out. So it's ready for us to get the steel in. Trouble is we've got no sand and cement so I need to nip off and get that. But we're going to get the steel slid in before I go. And then there's a bit of architrave and stuff for Alex to take off next door. Um, so I'm going to leave with that. It's only Muggle which is the next town. So that won't take long. So let's get this steel in. This big bruiser. It's heavy this one. Heavier than normal. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, it's not that bad. What? It's not that bad, is it? It's getting it up, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. Right, one second. That's it, swap sides. Ready? Yeah. Right, um, okay, watch yourself. Take it further on. So it's like overhanging the edge. It's just catching on the front edge. Right. Just pull it, don't take the weight, just let the just pull it. That's it. Right. About halfway there. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. This side. You ready? Yeah. No, square on. And just slide. Ready? I'm going to pull it a bit more over. Ready? It's going kind to of drop in a sec. One, two, three. Go on. That's it? Yeah. Alright, what are we doing? I'm going to lift it, I'm going to put that pop up underneath it. Right. Put it over that side first. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Work, is it? Um, so you try to angle it. Put it on its legs on the wall. It's not going to go anywhere. I thought you were going to get it up on the wall. No. Just show me where to wedge itself. Not like an intermediate thing. Same again, just whip the legs up onto the wall. Ready? Almost, yeah. It won't fall because the acros are doing stuff. Yeah, it's going to slide in here, are they? Doesn't matter, they don't need sliding. Right. As long as they're wedged. One, ready, two, three. Getting there? Yeah. Bit by bit. That'll do for now. We're going to get it the rest of the way up when we've got some sand and cement to put on top. So as I said before, I'm off to Fairwoods in Magull, down the road, and Alex is going to stay and get this architrave in there. You can always start knocking the walls as well, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure that I'm not going to destabilise the house? No, it'll be alright. Um, if you start on that wall, <coughs> just take, take this one the, here. Take the thing off the door for me first. Yeah, and then just start on that wall. Good okay. I should be back before then anyway. So I'll leave you in Alex's capable hands. God help us. <laughs> right, I'm off. Right, so like Dad said, while he's going to get the uh, sand cement, I'm going to be uh, making a bit of a start in here. Because um, as has also been described, it's going to be a steel going up there as well. And we're going to hold them together. So I'll start by getting this off and like, work my way around a bit. And, uh, yeah, all there is to it. <laughs> but I hope I don't uh, 
knock anything or do anything wrong because I have no adult supervision at the moment. Well, I won't when he's gone. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Well, uh. Papa. Well, sorry? Papa. Um. Yeah, okay, yes, please. So, uh, yeah, we'll get you onto time lapse and make a start demolishing more. And uh, the, the length's right, and the name's right. It's not Kenny's this one. No. Anyway, um, I think I'll leave it on normal speed so you can see what we're doing. And I had a comment yesterday saying someone watched the video to see us putting steels in, and we never filmed it. So we'll make sure we get every juicy moment of this one. So here we go.
explain what we're doing. Alright, after a lot of uh, fiddling about with these blocks, thank goodness we had them, we've got the uh, the steel up. So that's just bit That's just throwing water on the floor. That's just uh, trying to bed the uh, steel up. And then we're gonna get the give it a little push, get it up onto a uh, up onto the its final resting place. Yep. Oh. Is it heavy? Hey? Is it is it a bit heavy? Oh yes. <laughs> it's not as heavy as it looks though. Oh no, it looks pretty heavy. Well you've lifted it, haven't you? Yeah, we got it in on our own, we didn't need a lift. Yeah. It's not ridiculous. It's just lifting it, it's when you're lifting it above, above a certain height, that's when you start stretching and it starts getting hurt. Hurting, but that's why we used the blocks. Took our time, did it bit by bit, did it the safe way. Just a uh, tape measure, mate. Just check this to the door. Um, ah. I think it's 204. I hope it is. Do you want to tell them about the vis screen up there as well? If you pass me the camera and I'll show them. Swap. Okay. So, here's our bed. <coughs> All ready to go, bless you. Thank you. And we've got a piece of viscreen there. That's a double piece of double 1200 gauge viscreen just to go between the steel and the outside skin. Because it's a 9 inch wall, as I said before. So, time for the big push. So what we need to do first is I'll put another two bricks in, so lift it brick, lift it brick, and then we'll flip the push in. Another two bricks, did you say? Yeah. Just line up the Slide it to the lifting side. So, should I go over that side then? Um, actually, get the bar. If I, take, if I lift the weight off it, you can push it with the bar. Where's the crowbar? Um, is it in there? Is it better at the top or it's less gap? It's nice that. It's pushing it out though, too. Okay. Pushing it out. That's okay, you just push it back in with your, with your shoulder. You want me to do that in? That's yeah, alright, one second. guide it, it probably needs pushing out a bit, but let's get it in position first. Right. So we're just steady on that. Okay? Right. It's, it's on the block work. Okay? Okay. Yeah. 
Kom. Are you ready? It won't budge. It's stuck. Is it? Yeah. Sit, sit, sit. I'm doing what I'm doing. It's twisted, but you need to get the apple now. Okay? Just hold that steady. Need a hammer. Right, it's in, so we'll time lapse the rest. Okay, bit of a bomb site at the moment, but I'm actually just tidying up now. Bit of gobble left. Steel's in place. These are, uh, that one's coming out and that one's coming out now. Because yeah. the steel's up and it's propped. Oh, the acro. Yeah. The bed's nice and tight. Just needs that little bit, bit pointing up where the acro was and probably rip that on there. But yeah, um, solid. We just need to get these two. Um, pad stones in there which I've just cut. That one's 290, that one's 340. Um, there it is, 340. So we get them in, pack them up and let them go off overnight and then we'll try and sort this issue out next door. We're gonna, um, customers have got an idea what we're going to do so we'll find that out later or tomorrow morning. So for now I'll just put on time lapse while we get these pad stones in and then do a final wrap up before we go home. Alex is getting, just getting all the tidying up done. So we'll get these two in and then we'll have a little wrap it up before we go home. So if you're liking the video so far, give us a thumbs up. We get like we had like 21,000 views on one of the other videos and probably about I don't think we even hit a thousand likes. So if everyone give, views it, just stick the like button while you're watching it. Unless you don't like it of course. <laughs> but it costs you nothing. Does it does the channel a favour? I don't know how it does the channel a favour, but that's what everyone else says, so I'm assuming it does. So, um, give us a like and subscribe. Join the other 16,000 who've joined us and um, hit that notification bell so you'll be told when, when the videos are coming out. They come out Friday anyway, but just in case we sneak one out. Oh, stop waffling. <laughs> yeah, get back to you later, won't be long. Uh, that was supposed to be time lapse, but I forgot to press record. So there you go, pad one in. And then we've got the echoes up overnight while well, that goes off. I never used to put a bed on top of between steel and the pad stone, but I got a lot of comments about that. So we've got a room here with this, so we've got a nice bed and then a bed above. So nice. So, I'll time lapse this one a bit closer up. This is our long end, so here we go. And there we go. About five, ten past five. Skin done. Stealing. So we've got a 290 pad, 200 seating, minimum 200. Nice tight bed at the top, currently being held up with these two acros and the off. And 340 pad, uh, pads from at that end. 
I didn't take the pad stone right through because that block there, this one here, bonds through. So if we if we cut that off, then you'd have this block. No, sorry, this this block and the pad stone without being bonded into this corner. So that put that block is giving the corner strength. So that we've got the pad and then I've pointed it tight underneath that lintel as well, uh, steel, which you saw on the time lapse. So then, then our crows can come out tomorrow and we can head next door and start getting this side done. That side we'll have to put the steel in first, so it's through the garage, into the garden and back along here. Like I say, there is this wall to come out, but we need to sort that out tomorrow. That's, a bit, that's our speed bump for, for this job. So, um, yeah, we're going home Friday. Right, so, well, as Dad said, while well, Molly's off doing the, uh, getting the sand cement, this is probably an outtake because I've just had a brain fart. <laughs>